What is going on you guys? Novice here. Today we're going to be talking about chapter 24, The Dredge, and why I genuinely believe that this is going to be the killer for Dead by Daylight. I know a lot of people have been very skeptical, but we are going to try to back this up with some pretty solid proof. And by the end of it, I don't think you can't deny that this is exactly what behavior we're alluding to. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I did say that The Dredge was heavily inspired by HP Lovecraft's Niala Thoth. If you want to find out about the perks of the killers and survivor, then the link will be in the description below. For this theory, we will be looking at canon that already exists in Dead by Daylight through the tomes. So way back in tome 9, we actually find the observer who stumbles upon a tear in reality. Out of this comes these small arachnids, but not only this, we also get a shadowy werewolf-like figure that circles the observer. It ends on the observer staring down this massive arachnid beast monster. In Tome 10, we actually see the Observer playing golf and actually gets attacked again, but this time by slightly different creatures. It is almost outer entity-like, and I do want to pay close attention to the artwork of the face of some of these creatures. As you can see, this looks very Cthulhu-like in the face. I also do want to mention that there is a shadowy, almost smoky-like effect on them, which may play into a point later on on down the line. But as we can clearly see, the observer is actually either on the run or is losing grip of reality here. To further my point, I'm going to be talking about Niala Thotep's power. Now, I found this extremely interesting. I am going to be speeding over a few things, but if you guys want to learn more about it, then I invite you to. It is pretty awesome and there is so much lore. So Niala Thotep is known as the crawling chaos. It loves driving people insane and it loves deceiving and manipulating anything that it comes across. It has the ability to transform, create illusions, and has the power of telepathy. It is a massive chaos manipulator and reality warper and is very crafty in nature. So I do want to say that it is actually able to create illusions. So what we could be seeing from tone 9 and 10 are potential illusions that Niala Thotep is actually creating, or the dredge in this case. This could be to incite fear in the observer to drive him crazy. Niala Thotep is actually a messenger for the outer entity gods and actually does not mind as long as it is able to torture and basically harass humans. I do want to mention a quote from Niala Thotep the book which says, the world battling against blackness. This is when the narrator is talking about what the illusions that Niala Thotep creates. This will be more relevant now in Tome 11. In Tome 11, we see that the observer actually opens the door to a birthday party it seems of all of these creatures celebrating happy birthday sweet darkness. This could either be a reference to the entity or it could be a reference to Niala Thotep. As you can see, they also have this wispy effect on them, which could indicate that it's actually just an illusion. Not only that, that this is actually in the observer's safe place. This is somewhere where the observer feels safe and it is actually a massive breach mentally for this to happen. We also are going to draw on some of the artwork. We see again a Cthulhu-esque type artwork in the face of this butler. Not only that, we see a Niala Thotep type creature as well here down in the left. Towards the end of the tome, we actually see the observer back off and is absolutely horrified as something approaches it. I believe that this is Niala Thotep potentially showing the observer its true form or hideous form. And I quote, the outer entity gods are horrible to view beyond measure, unquote. So I feel that this could be Niala Thotep again really trying to mess with the observer. I also do want to mention something about the perks. In perk septic touch, the quote says, do not admit to fear or pain or doubt. These are the seeds from which darkness grows by Otto Stamper. Otto Stamper is actually the doctor's mentor in Dead by Daylight. Otto is known as a scientist, as someone who pursues knowledge. It may not be uncommon for someone like Otto to try to understand Niala thought of. I do also want to read out darkness reveals. It says, stay in the light my child. 
cloud. In darkness, your fear will expose you. Now, what I think this means is the fact that it can manipulate and can absolutely turn you insane, which is exactly what has happened to the observer. Nyala Thotep actually really loves to enjoy breaking strong minds such as scientists, it is referenced in the books many times, so I feel like it would not be unreasonable why Otto is the one that has these quotes around the killer's perks. Finally, why do I think that this is absolutely a perfect fit for Dead by Daylight? HP Lovecraft is an icon in horror in terms of its inspiration for so many things that we have today, such as films such as Alien, The Thing, In the Mouth of Madness, Event Horizon, The Mist, The Cabin in the Woods, and even games such as Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and Bloodborne. I feel like behavior really are inspired or even lifted Niala Thotep out of HP Lovecraft because it is such an iconic thing. Niala Thotep is also an entity that does not mind what it does as long as it can actually just make people suffer. So I feel that even though it may be similar or more powerful to the entity, they struck a bargain. Because Niala Thotep is a messenger, almost like a servant, it kind of does not mind serving under people as long as it gets free reign of what it gets to do. So in conclusion, through the tome, I feel like this is exactly where behavior were heading. I feel like it was this outer entity Niala Thotep-esque inspired creature that struck a deal with the entity. It makes sense purely based off the random chaos that we see the observer observe in tome 9, 10, and even 11. We also see the descent and breaking of the observer mentally, which is exactly what Niala Thotep actually wants. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys agree or have any other theories, comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that sub button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.